It is moving day. This is our first place together. Let me show you our discovery. <laughs> oh, over here. I just have like so much peace at this house. A lesson learned about that. They drilled a little too far. You guys, it is moving day. Are you excited? Yes, but I'm not awake. It's bright and early. Giselle just whipped it through Starbucks, which is very sweet this morning, while she went out to withdraw some cash <laughs> to tip the movers. But this is our last few moments in the house. Well, probably a few more hours, but the movers are gonna be here soon. Um, I'll show you what things are looking like, and then we'll have some empty clips, and then we're gonna be over at the new house later today, first night sleeping there, which is so weird. Everything is in boxes. It has been a process. Ah, so here is everything down here. I have just a couple final things I'm gonna put in my car. Took down all of the art. We've patched the holes. They don't match the wall paint color. So, you know, trying to fool the landlord on that one. Don't know if we will. Yeah, these are our last moments. As you can see, we are using North Star Movers. This is my third time using them. I just want to give them a huge, huge thank you. They hooked me up with a little discount on this. Every single time, the crew of guys, I, we usually get like four. I think we're having four today. They are so efficient. They are so like friendly and nice. Like I just trust them with my stuff and they have not broken a single single thing down to like the tiniest item, which I think is really great. If you guys are ever moving, they truly do just like a top notch, high quality job. So they're gonna be here so soon. Everything is all out. So they also took our TVs off the walls, which is really nice um, so that we don't have to deal with that. We are officially out. This feels so weird. It feels like I lived here for like one minute, but somehow it's been almost two years. That just flew by. So we're gonna head to the new house. The movers are gonna meet us there. And then I'm gonna start like picking places for things to go, which I've been like trying to do some calculations of like where certain things are gonna fit because there are more rooms in the new house. I'll like show everything when we get there, or I guess later after everything is in. So you can actually distinguish them versus just like a bunch of empty rooms. There's more rooms, but they're like small rooms. So we're trying to figure out which one should be the guest room um, because when Giselle moved in, we kept her um, bedroom set so that one day, which it all worked out, who would have thought? Um, so that one day we would be able to use her set in the guest bedroom. So we're trying to figure out which room for, should be that and then which room should be the gym room which I think either room being the gym room, there's just gonna be very limited floor space. So we're gonna see, but can you believe it? Are you excited? I'm so excited. Uh, this was our first place together. Oh. I'm sad. No, it's not as happy. <laughs> just left. Let me show you our discovery, which is horrifying. <laughs> so yeah, literally we are so embarrassed that the movers even witnessed this. I guess this rug has never been close enough to the light of day to be able to see how filthy and disgusting <laughs> it is. I don't know if this is even like going to show up on camera, but like this once was a like light off white kind of cream beige rug. It is literally like 
dirt brown gray like how did we never notice that and then we put it in here i don't know why that looks so yellow probably because that is throwing it off because it looks worse in person so a little tour of all the mess going on at the moment trying to unpack the kitchen oh over here back here at this little bar area if you will recall there was that like industrial shelf thing that we hated we didn't hate it it was like a fine you know piece of metal but not exactly the vibe of the house. And so one of the movers like loved it and we were like, do you want it? So now we just need to patch that and paint over these holes. But thank goodness we did that because he took it off and he was like, these screws were just in the drywall. Like they didn't even put them in studs. So if we would have like put anything on there, then it would have just like fallen off the wall because there was no support. So, you know. <laughs> bought a flip so we'll see what else just falls off the wall but for right now so we have the bar stools here this is a little bit of like a shallow counter compared to um our last place but this is still good i've ordered a long dining table here that's going to fit a bunch of people but it's not going to be here for a little bit um move the little faux mantle thing here i need to put the mirror up a little backyard preview we put some outdoor chairs out there we have the dining space that needs some decor First night's sleep, <laughs> check. <laughs> Good morning, you guys, it is the next day. Yesterday after the movers wrapped up, we were so tired, we got in bed at like 6.30 p.m. <laughs> I slept so well, I just have like so much peace at this house, like it just feels so safe. But this is the new bedroom. Probably looks exactly the same as the other one, it's just a little bit bigger. Today is gonna be another busy day, um, lots of unpacking. I have some work stuff to catch up on, so does Giselle because she took the day off yesterday for the move. Here anytime, so it's almost 8 a.m. right now. Between 8 and 10, the alarm company is gonna get here to install an alarm system because that did not come with the property. So definitely want that, so that could take, I think, potentially all day, we will see. Goal is just to get a lot unpacked and settle in here like I could not find. Actually, still, I can't find my toothbrush <laughs> at this point. I'm like, I think I just need to drive out to the store and go buy one. Just a lot of like random things that I don't know which box they're in, so. All right, it is now the next day and I promise today we're getting to the, the house content. It's about 15 minutes, yeah, until a blinds company is coming here. So yesterday the alarm system was installed, as I mentioned, and they ended up being here all day. It just wasn't, you know, the opportune time to vlog. So they were just like in and out of every room, like crawling through the attic space to like drill down everywhere that they were placing like a part of the alarm system. A lesson learned about that, which someone or a few people commented on the video about the whole process of buying the house. And they were like, it's good that you guys like have like stood your ground and like you aren't pushovers and whatever. These situations I'm finding, I think are gonna come up like pretty often, even in like already being in the house. We're having to hire so many different companies to come out and like do different things that are optional, but just that like we want done. Yesterday when the alarm company was here and they were so friendly, like everyone that's been in for anything has been just like so nice. And they were like drilling down, like they go up and then drill through like the wall to then like break out like in the wall to put the panels. They drilled a little too far, came through the ceiling. So then there was like a little, not huge, but like a little hole in the ceiling. They were like trying to just like put a little cover thing, like a little plastic circle that would like go up there to hide it. And I was like, you can show it to me, but like I want it spackled and covered to look like it was like, you know, prior to the accident, which like I wasn't upset about, but I mean, they were friendly. They weren't pushing it like that hard, but they were definitely like someone who I feel like doesn't, isn't comfortable like standing up to an authority figure. Like these are like older men and whatever. And we're like two younger girls. And you really just got to stand your ground. Unfortunately, that's something that I am pretty comfortable with. Cause at the end of the day, it's like, you're hiring these people to come into your home. Like they should fix it to your liking, you know? So ultimately they did. He went out and like bought some spackle and covered it, which is great. And then yesterday, as you saw, the movers took the 
that like bar shelf, the industrial bar vibe. The movers took that, so then there were some holes there. And so the guy, the alarm guy, again, super nice, <laughs> but he was like, do you want me to fill these two while I have it? And I was like, sure, that would be so nice. So he did. But yeah, moral of the story, if you, homeowner or not, are hiring anyone to come into your home and any kind of accident happens, which is not uncommon, you still, you know, you can be nice about it, obviously, but you still gotta stand up for yourself. Anyways, blind guy number one is coming today. I've scheduled three consults, so another one on Sunday and another one on, I believe, Monday. I need to look. Monday also, we have an HVAC guy coming out to give us a quote for something. Nothing's broken. Like, I went through all of that in the moving vlog too. So they did fix everything, but we're just kind of wanting to like... Just see what it would cost us to update those before they just like fully break and it's like a hot summer day and we don't have air or whatever. Our washer and dryer is also being delivered on Monday. But related to the blinds, I am already predicting, obviously, you know, the guy that comes out because the, all the consultations are free. So they want you to, of course, go with their company. But I think it's important to shop around and get quotes and not to go with the first thing just because like, I mean, maybe I will go with the first thing. Actually, this company that's coming today, they their whole thing they advertise is that like, they can get your blinds made like super quickly. It's like a bigger nationwide company and I, get, I think they just have like local contractors that they hire out. Um, but then the other two companies that were gonna come out in a few days or like local companies, like family companies. Of course, I would rather like support that, but I worry about like how long they would take to get produced from one of those companies. I have no idea how the price will factor out with all these different options, which is again, just why I wanna get the different quotes. We'll see, there's pros and cons to each. Unfortunately, the convenience factor might sway me to the nationwide option here. It's just not convenient not having blinds. <laughs> if I feel like it's reasonable, then maybe I'll just go with this to like get that in production. Yeah, fortunately today is like the first um, day that we'll mostly have the house to ourselves. It's so weird, this doesn't feel like my house at all. <laughs> like I just took a shower and I feel like I was like at a hotel or something. Be my little vlogging ledge. A quick update, so the blind consult went well. I actually ended up just going with him and canceling the other two just because the other two aren't gonna be until like days from now and production time is like, I mean, story of everything I feel like since COVID is that like everything is just like way slower than it used to be. And so the company we even went with, like your blinds are supposed to be made in like seven or no, three days. The company's literally called Three Day Blinds. That's, if you're curious, that's the nationwide company. I think it's gonna end up being like a week basically, which is fine, like that's faster than we'd be able to get with any of the other companies, I'm pretty sure. Plus, we would be adding in those days waiting for the later consults and I just really wanna get them here ASAP. Right now we are going out to get some quick Starbucks because <laughs> another thing that's been happening, like the ice in our fridge, what do you think's happening with it? I think it's just new, it needs to get like run through, through a bunch. Through a yeah, like I filled up my cup the other day with ice and water and I was like, what is this like white stuff everywhere? And so then I've done it like a few times since then and it's still happening. So my water intake's been low. I'm dehydrated. I don't have much energy. So we're gonna go do that and then I'm gonna come back freshly woken up and show you guys the house and finally get through talking through some different things. Also, I forgot to show a neighbor came over, didn't even ring the doorbell because the alarm company was here. So I'm sure they assumed that we were busy, but left the sweetest note, like so just welcoming us to the neighborhood, introducing themselves and left these flowers. And that is just so nice. Like a bunch of neighbors have come over to like, knock on the door and introduce themselves. Like it's definitely like one of those neighborhoods where like most people here have lived here a really long time and like everybody knows each other. Before we head out, I'm gonna give you a little backyard tour because I think Giselle just went out. So there's this covered area right by the doors, which is really nice. For right now, we just have this dining table because I think in a few days, or on Saturday, in two days, <laughs> my older mate Adrian and my friend Lauren are coming over. We're gonna have dinner out here if the weather permits. Then we put our outdoor seating over there that I wish was under the covered area just for like taking care of it. Where I lived last, the patio was just like open so there was no cover there. So both the table and all of that is definitely deteriorated in quality a little bit, but I feel like if we were to put everything under here, it would just be really crammed. Continuing this way, we have this little fountain pond thing, water feature, water feature that let's be real, is not cute. <laughs> 
but we turned it off because there's like a thing where you can fill it up here as well and then the water just like runs over that we were like running it overnight because like in theory the water just like circulates and so we read that it's better to just like keep it going all the time but the water level dropped like all the way to the bottom overnight so now we're like is there a leak or is it just like spraying off into the wind or what so right now this morning we filled it up basically we're just gonna leave it off and then see if the water level like drains on its own we're trying to figure out if there's a leak or not basically you want this to be a pool also, I love, these are our neighbors. They have these really pretty flowers. It's giving me like a grease vibe. And then we come over here to our little grill area. There's a wine fridge right here that I guess we should put something in. Is this working? We didn't even try it. It's just a fridge, whatever. In my mind, ooh, spider webs. Any extra, any extra fridges or wine fridges. And then there's a sink out here, which is great. Moving this way, there's this like built-in area for around this fire pit that they left here, um, which is nice that it also came with a cover. So we can just have a little fire out here, really upgrading our s'mores experience. And then moving this way, there's another fountain. This one is gross. These have been off for a while, like between when we like went under contract. So this water, like what do I do? And then over here, we just have more grassy space. So we put a couple other chairs out here. And then this is where weeds have clearly like overtaken this and we need to get like weed killer spray and try to distinguish like what is plant versus not or just like hire a company. All right, back in caffeinated, the moment you've been waiting for. Also, just a note, things are not like where they're gonna go necessarily we've just been like trying to put things anywhere to like get them out of a box which we still have a long way to go on unpacking so everything you're about to see it goes without saying is not like what it's gonna look like as well as i have like some design ideas for like you know down the road when i want to like do some more furniture shopping decor everything like that hopefully not the too far future but definitely not like before i leave for croatia or anything because i've spent a lot so far in this month so this is the area we've seen this enough coming down this way this is going to be my office coming this way right now we're not sure really what to do with this space this is just our dining set from the last house um which is kind of nice because like the other area is going to be like a formal dining area this could be like a chiller little dining area that's just like close to the kitchen or do we want to make this like a mini seating area even though the living room's right there I don't really know because both like regardless of what we make this it's obviously going to be close proximity to one of the other regions so it like doesn't really matter and then we're like on this wall we might put a tv potentially a frame tv that's going to be a splurge um obviously we have the wine wall here this is like what sold the house i feel like that's like what everyone comments on when they come over aka the people that have been working here because no friends have seen this yet something that's really cool here is this like laundry or like pantry area coming this way this is going to be giselle's office or it is already again we just like put things in here that like we don't need this bar card anymore obviously but just like giving things a home for right now she's gonna get a bigger desk we don't really need to keep this mirror because we have a flink mirror there this entryway moment i feel like i want something to be higher these ceilings aren't as high as they were in the last house but still somehow this looks like really small compared to like where it used to be, which was like in the downstairs entryway. This is the living room. This is the area that is like really gonna change a lot. We wanna get a new rug, of course. We're gonna get a different couch and like two little accent chairs. I'm trying to decide if on this back wall I wanna put shelves, so I'll show you a little picture on screen. But my style that I love, like when I see pictures of houses and I just like love it, is like the organic modern style. Obviously the things I have right now are not that style, so throughout time I would love to try to shift the designs that direction, but right now of course working with what we have. Coming down the hallway, there is a half bath. So all the bathrooms are basically clones of each other. These drawers, tiny little sink, all the mirrors are like smart mirrors, which is kind of cool. Hello. We're figuring out all of them have different features, like some of them the light color changes. Oh, it does here too. Some of them you can like play music through it. Down the road again, I want to make like really cool well-designed bathrooms like a, like a dark moody bathroom and i always pictured like some kind of cool mirror but i feel like they really like spent on these mirrors i guess so i don't know master again oh it is like 10 degrees hotter in here than the other rooms just with the light coming in one thing that's definitely quirky about this room setup if you haven't noticed is that the bathroom well the toilet and shower 
are like doored off but like we're just looking at the sinks all the time like from the bed again none of these things i'm like saying I want to change or happening at any point in the near future, but just like ideas I've had that Giselle came up with that I now like love would be like bringing this wall in a little bit or like I guess just adding on a little wall and making it like an arch. So that way it feels like there's some separation, but like the light can still reach here. I think it'd be really weird at this point to like add another door here just to come to this area. So I'm fine with like the open vibe. But I think it would just be nice to do like some kind of arch and like make it feel like a separate space. The closets are one area of the house that they did not really update. I think they like painted definitely like the original closet vibes, just like a rod, some shelves. It's functioning for now, but eventually down the road, I want to get like a closet company to come in and modernize the closets a bit, as well as just like honestly for storage purposes. I feel like you can raise, you can have like a rod up there, a second level of rods. And then somewhere in here, build in some drawers like at the last place because I don't know where to put a lot of my clothes that don't hang, but you know, whatever. There is another bathroom here. If you're like staying in the guest bedroom, this is the bathroom you would use. This is our new gym room. So it ended up being more spacious than I thought. It was hard to picture when I was coming in here, like how much room um, the treadmill and everything was gonna take up. So there is more room than I expected, but like between the two, there's not a lot of floor space anymore. Like if you remember previously, I had like that big workout mat for the floor, so I'm gonna make it work. I need to set up this a little bit more. We're gonna mount um, the TV on the wall here so that we'll just be working out and that will be the view, another little closet. And then this is the guest bedroom, which is storing all the suitcases and stuff at the moment. So our vibe for this is probably gonna be like a coastally vibe for this room because that's kind of what Giselle's um, old bedroom used to be like. So we kept all of her stuff, all of like the art, the bedding, have this like coastal -y vibe mirror. In the next vlog, I'm probably gonna do some setting up of this room. We're getting a mattress, just like lots of things here. <laughs> brought she made like a lemon cake <laughs> <laughs> 